Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Fred Chege and in this video I'm going to be talking about the five steps that you can take to teach yourself how to code and become a software engineer. I'm going to break down the steps that I took into about five high level steps to help you in your coding journey as well. So if you want to teach yourself how to code and become a software engineer, the first step that you have to take is to start by learning uh, web development basics which are html css and javascript now html stands for hypertext markup language and html is the language that you use to define the structure and the content of your web page and by content i mean all of the buttons the text the images the links all of that is created by using html after that you should learn CSS, that stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is the language that you use to style your HTML content. So let's say that you want your HTML button to be red or blue or something. You will use CSS to target that HTML element and style it with the color and font changes that you want. So again, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is the language that you use to style your HTML content and make it look the way that you want. After learning that, you should now learn JavaScript. So JavaScript is the only programming language here. HTML and CSS are not programming languages. HTML is a markup language and CSS is basically a style sheet language. Now JavaScript is the language that you use to make your web page interactive. And by interactive, I mean things like dropdowns, pop-ups, models, all of those types of things are because of JavaScript. Now, two of the biggest mistakes that I've seen a lot of beginners making is that they are working through curriculums that are not heavily project-based. <clears throat> to where as soon as they log out of those platforms, they, are, they don't really know what to do on their own. And that's a problem because you have to know how to code outside those platforms that you are learning to code on. And the second problem I see for um, a lot of beginners is they are spending a lot of time reading books and just watching videos without really coding along. And if you really want to learn how to code, you have to be writing code as soon as possible, as much as possible and building as many projects as you can outside of whatever online platform you are learning to code from. So projects are very important to you. Actually measuring your own progress and seeing how well you are doing and coming along when it comes to your coding journey. So make sure that you find a heavily project-based coding curriculum that will force you to apply everything that you learn in whatever online uh, tutorials that you're doing to now build real world websites and applications. Now, step three, find a software engineer that can serve as your tutor and mentor on your coding journey. Now, one of the biggest problems that I see with a lot of people that are teaching themselves how to code is that anytime they get stuck or need help, they don't really have anyone to ask questions to, so they don't have anyone that can kind of point them in the right direction and just kind of teach them what uh, to focus on and what to ignore. And this now means that a lot of people end up wasting precious time and hours and sometimes even days and weeks studying materials that's not really relevant to the job market or to anything that they're uh, trying to, to do. So it's very important to have a software developer that is actually in the field that that has actually done these things before uh, that can help mentor and tutor you on your coding journey so that whenever you get stuck you have someone to talk to and this is also important when it comes to practicing for interviews because this person uh, can really help you to practice uh, for technical interviews since they have been there and done that now, I don't really have much advice in terms of how to find a software engineer that's a mentor. That's why I, I, a lot of people end up attending coding boot camps because they don't really know 
anyone so uh, the step uh, the, the step four is build two or three solid projects for your coding portfolio now these projects are not just basic websites these are actual applications that incorporate a lot of the common technologies and tools that most companies are using nowadays now a really big issue that i see with a lot of people that are teaching themselves how to code is that they are so focused on just kind of learning how to code and just doing tutorials and building projects that they don't really take the time to make sure they fully understand the tools and the technologies that they are learning because when it comes to the technical interview process you have to be able to confidently and comfortably speak about those technologies and explain them to the hiring manager during the interview process so if you don't know how to talk about your code it doesn't really matter that you know how to code soft skills are very important for software engineers to have it is crucial that you study for your technical interviews by practicing talking out loud about your code and walking people through your code now this will be easy if you have a software engineer that's a mentor but if you don't that's cool a hack that you can do is to actually use one of your family members or one of your friends um, and it's actually better that these people they don't know anything about code because then they are going to be asking you a lot of questions about the code and it is your job and responsibility to be able to try to clearly communicate and explain what's happening in the code to a complete novice that has no clue what's going on now if you don't know how to comfortably explain what you're doing in your code to a beginner or someone that does not understand coding or doesn't have a coding uh, experience then it's going to really be difficult when you try to communicate to the hiring managers about um, what you're doing also make sure that you google common interview questions for whatever roles that you are applying for research the answers write them down and answer and study those answers until you fully understand it again don't just focus on memorizing stuff like focus on understanding because that will actually come through in the interview process so that's if uh, you know those are five high level steps that you need to take to help you to teach yourself how to code and make the career switch to becoming a software engineer it's going to take work like it is going to take a lot of time commitment and dedication from you to be able to achieve all of these things and to get a job as a software engineer so hopefully this was helpful for you guys uh, if you have any questions comment uh, below and i'll do my best to get back to you thank you again for watching make sure you subscribe for more content like this and also uh, leave your suggestions uh, in the comment section on what kind of videos i should make uh, next thanks for watching